Hey guys, BRAP here, and today I have a free for all on WMD for you. And today I'm using the FAMAS dual mags uh, with lightweight, sleight of hand, and marathon. I'm using stun grenades and Semtex, I think, and a Claymore as my equipment. And I joined this game late, and I think I'm losing by 300. I can't really see it, so you'll have to judge for yourself and sort of dodge there for the win. And um, uh, so today we are playing some free-for-all and I wanted to talk about some free-for-all tips and the tip that I see the most when I watch YouTube videos is stick to the back, like the map's edge and that works because in free-for-all the spawns can be like, you can spawn like two meters away from your, where you died. And so you want to stick to somewhere where you, the only way that we're there, the only place you can spawn is right in front of you. And um, it really helps. And uh, another tip for free for all is that I'm, I might, it might, bleh, it might seem like I'm camping, but um, I'm actually doing a defending the position on, and it works for free for all. Because in free-for-all, you have revenge killers, and it's always the same blokes. Like, I think the Olympia guy, I th he was my nemesis for this match. And he got, like, three kills on me, and I got, like, I think I got, like, 20 on him or something. Because all he did was try and rush back to my position. And there you see, I heard the destroyed your equipment guy saying thingies. And uh, so I just dropped back and sprayed him. Got him. And that's why you shouldn't revenge kill a guy camping. Well, not really camping. But still, it's pretty stupid to just rush back to where he was. If you want a revenge kill, I suggest, like, going a different route. Like, there he got lucky because I didn't turn around when he walked in and things like that. Enemy I, was, I thought I was defending the position quite well there, but um, he still managed to go when I wasn't looking. And so there he is again, gets me again with, I think, a sniper rifle he picked up. So this guy sees the stun but doesn't know what to do with it. And there's the Olympia guy, again. <sighs> anyway. So, there. If I sound sick, it's because I am a little bit. It's bloody freezing around here. And I've got a bit of a cold and so, yeah. Don't bother with the voice. And, um... Also, I wanted to talk about the dual mags, which are a really good attachment to use when you're not using scavenger because it gives you, as you've probably already worked out, it gives you 150 ammo instead of 90 and it really helps to get those kill streaks. because I've been in positions where I was just like at a 7 kill streak going for a blackbird and I ran out of ammo and so it, was, it gets annoying. So having that extra, it's kind of like a reassurance that you're going to have ammo when you're on your high kill streaks. But if you're going for like a kill streak of, um, say, spy plane, counter spy plane, and napalm or care package, you want to, you don't need the dual mags because you don't need that extra ammo. You can just pick up a gun after you've got your five kill streak. And um, so the kill streak setup I'm using is blackbird, chopper gunner, and dogs. And um, this is really an advanced player's setup, and it's, it's kind of like the Harrier Pavlo chopper gunner combo in um, in COD 6. And so, like, if you're um, like an, an uh, new to this game, I suggest using the spy plane, counter spy plane, and napalm or care package. If you're not new to the game but you're not very good at getting kill streaks. Uh, you can use anything really, but for the really advanced players, I suggest this. And so now I've got my dogs off that um, Olympia guy trying to charge me for a revenge kill. And um, I was sitting back there because I knew he'd try it, and I knew I was out of range for him. And so I'm going to drop down here and go into my chopper gunner. And I was just trying to finish the game off, and I am horrible in chopper gunners. I will admit it openly. I am absolutely terrible in chopper gunners. Because, and so, sorry, cut myself off there, but the final score is 30 and 3, and I will see you guys later.